Hello everyone, this is Damien, and this is going to be lesson number four of Beginner C++. Uh, today we're going to be talking a bit about uh, output manipulation. And this is uh, one of the things that I kind of like to teach first. Uh, it's very easy to do, and it's something that comes up really often. So let's first discuss the problem before I start spouting out code. Um, let's do double and let's make uh, two variables. So let's say uh, x and let's set x equal to 1.7356 and let's make y equal to, um, or double, or no, just y, equal to um, 2.337. Um, and let's just say for argument's sake, we want to simply multiply these two numbers together. Um, so let's do C out, uh, X times Y, lowercase y. There we go. And so when we run this, we get this uh, 4.0561. But let's just say for argument, um, I know that this isn't the greatest example I've ever made, but let's say we need more or less precision here. Um, let's say that we're, this is in a cash register application or something like that, and we don't need anything after the 0, 05. Um, obviously, that means that you know there's problems because we're getting weird fractions of pennies or whatever, but on the same note, you know, Let's assume that we know it's a problem and we don't care. Um, there's lots of other reasons. You know, sometimes in mathematics, you know, they'll just say round to the nearest tenth. Well, to do that easily, we include uh, a new library and it's called IOMANIP. So IOMANIP is simply IO manipulation. And it's a, uh, it's a pretty easy library to work with. Um, there's really only a couple of things that we're going to want to work with uh, in this library. So what we do to set the output is we do a C out, and inside the C out, we toss in uh, this thing called set iOS flags. And then we open a set of parentheses and we type in iOS double uh, double colon. And then we, you know, since we're doing this in NetBeans, it does give us a, a list of things here where we can um, where we can just select. Um, the only ones that I really, really, really strongly, kind of recommend using our um, show point, which is down here. So once we do show point, uh, we can later do a set precision call. And set precision is uh, done right here. P-R-E-C-I-S-I-O-N. And we're going to set that to 2, since that's kind of the thing I, I outlined earlier. So set precision is uh, where we actually tell it to show uh, two points of precision no matter what. So when we run this, since it's a 4.056, which is why I chose those two numbers, is so it would round up. So we should get, when we run this, uh, 4.06 and it's actually rounding to 4.1 because I forgot that it counts the uh, the decimal as one of those points of precision so if we turn it up to 3 then we get 4.06 um, so when we're using uh, set precision you know there often is a loss of precision if it's longer but equally, there can be times when you end up with 4.00 uh, being displayed. Um, so let's do z equals 2 and a equals 2. 
Um, I have to make that 2.0 just so it doesn't complain. Uh, I'm running an outdated version of NetBeans, so it kind of does get a little complainy at times. Um, see out. Oops. See out. And L. Uh, and that's going to be A times Z. And so when we run this, what did I even do there? Oh, yeah. I put in a spare semicolon. As you can see, now I end up with 4.00 being displayed, which might not be what I really want to have happen. So in here, after my end L, but before my A to Z here, I can reset the uh, precision. And I can do 0. And when I do that, then we end up with 4 points. So again, that's not really what we want, is it? And so the issue, is, and I just want to show you, even if we do one, we still get the same thing. So what's going on here? And the issue here is that we're using the wrong data type. There's no way to fully suppress the output of, uh, of a double. It's always going to show that decimal. It's inherent. However, what we can do instead is known as casting. And so casting allows us to temporarily treat one type as another. So in this case, I type the word int in before my multiplication of a and z. And so now it should treat this as though it's an integer. And I can even get rid of this set precision uh, flag change and it will still treat it like an integer. So there's no decimal place in an integer. So casting is one of the most powerful things that you can do in all of programming. Um, it's one of the very few things that you can do that will automatically take one type and push it to another. Um, the downside to this is that it throws a ton of errors if you use it wrong, and handling those errors can be really complex. Uh, we'll get into that a lot more soon, but for now, just know that you know if you're working with a type and you really can't get it, uh, casting is kind of the way to go about doing it. So as we go forward, we're going to talk more about casting and uh, data type conversion because those are probably the most useful things uh, that you will learn, you know, on your path to professional programming. I hope you guys have enjoyed this lesson. Please join me again next time. Have a good one.